it's the making of a Laka China box in the frigid cold. I just got the uh, some of the parts cut. As you can see here, got the heater on. Got some of the parts cut. I'm gonna go start tacking it in. See how that works. Oh yeah. Here's my first supports. I'm doing those corner supports on each side. One more to go. And I'm gonna brace the insides with little angle brackets. Just to give a lot more support to the box. But so far coming along. So those are the inside braces I'm using and man it sturdied it up so much it's crazy. I knew it would, but finish those. Do the same braces on that side. Then I'm gonna lift it and then seal up the whole thing with the foil and then put that bottom on. And then that way it's basically ready to make the top and we're almost halfway there. Right on. All right. Top part is all cut. Ready for the steel. I just gotta find my steel, which hopefully I'll have in the next day or so. Wheels are awesome. Everything is perfectly level and fits flush. Feels so good. And then I will mount that steel on this top frame, which will be the lifter. This we gonna lift up the charcoal cooker with. And put a walking handle on that side right there. And it should be good. Good to cook a pig in about five days. Right on. With the wheel and that, that is pretty damp gum close. It ain't perfect level, but it sure as hell ain't gonna be level out in the grass. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm gonna burn torch all of this wood. Those are beautiful knots. I'm gonna put a brand there and do some wood burning for my hot sauce logos on there. Man, this thing's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. Anyway, all right. All right, day three, picked up my 20 gauge non-galvanized steel today. That's gonna be the um, charcoal pan, basically the heat. So I should have this thing wrapped up today. <laughs> no pun intended lay the aluminum foil base that is going to be pinned in between the one by threes which will be the handle that'll be the handle these are underneath and then just further support another one by two that'll sit vertically like that that'll prevent it from going left to right it'll sit right on the outside of the box and she is going to be cherry all you gotta do is put that handle on there still. I gotta find me some deer antler. And it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully I have that done tonight. Right on. All right, making progress. Got my steel today under the top frame. Super solid. Uh, these are the final support braces. These are gonna go up and under right here. I'm gonna staple drive them with my air gun and then finish them with a couple real thin screws. And that'll be the handle for when we lift up the charcoal. You can see it's pretty, pretty darn solid. So that's just gonna add a little more stability antler right here I'm gonna drill out a hole in the hole button up with uh, 
maybe a wood block and put that right here for the lifting handle so you can just drag it and wheel it. I'll put a rib of aluminum foil. They call it a snake. That'll keep extra heat off the wood. And then we'll do our test fire probably tomorrow. Handlebar is mounted. Oh yeah. Now it's time to torch. A little branding, a little torching. Totally just made some awesome accents. Check that out. Oh yeah. Alright, let's line this bad boy. And it will be ready to do a test, heat test tomorrow. All right, she is completely lined. Top fits like a glove. I got my seals all nice, bunched up, so when I put that top on, it presses down and makes a nice tight seal. All I have to do is put my pans in there and four bricks for when I lay the grill. The pig will be in between two grates that will set on the bricks. And drip pans will be lining this whole thing, probably four of them. As I look at it, it'll be four drip pans. The bricks will be the holder and they'll be set. Well, there she is. She is done. Handlebar inside, other side, rock solid. It's awesome. Do a level on it. Perfectly level. Nice work. The grates and the pans are ordered. The party is Saturday. All right, here it is. We're going for our test run. Put the lining on around the rim. Call it a foil snake, just to make more protection of the wood. And we are gonna cook chicken. Let that steel burn and kind of cure itself a little bit. Exciting. Oh, yeah. So for the test run, I'm just gonna use one of the grates, those are the grates that will actually pin the pig down. I have one more grate that will sit on top of the pig with S hooks that will hold it so we can flip it four hours in. But I'm going to do a chicken in it right now. I'm going to heat this bad boy up and we are going to see how it works on this first test run. Pretty exciting. All right. Why don't you put it in the very middle? We're going to do the first light of this, okay? Yep. Dad, Dad. Because huh, we have to do two of them. Why don't you put it in the very middle? Because we have to do two of them. Okay. So, we're going to light... We're going to light these uh, newspapers. And it is going to get... There's the first smoke. Pretty cool. Isn't that pretty exciting? Did you put the chicken in there? Not yet. Then why are you cooking? Heating it up. Um. The first cook test is happening. Everything is smooth so far. It hasn't burned down. So we are good. Getting ready to dump the last charcoal bin. This should be for the first hour or so. And then we'll see how that temperature works inside. Right on. Alright. It's been about a half hour. We're already too hot. It's at internal temperatures almost at 370. So I got a 
spread some of these coals out, cool it down. This is a good test run because I can probably pull that lid, let some heat out. And I gotta figure out how to maintain a little cooler temperature for for the pig. All good. Just you know, adjustments here and there. Alright, let me get that temp down. So far I am very impressed. It got a little hot, but first test run is understandable. I gotta learn how to control that charcoal with the box temperature. I had to vent it and bring the temperature down. It got really hot, almost 400. Flip the chicken, finish the other side of it, and um, 45 minutes in so far. And I'm probably gonna put some sort of shim here. I left a little gap just now so we can vent out a little bit and not get too hot in there on the finish of that chicken. But that'll be the only issue. But it looks pretty easy. I guess if I just slide it, I don't need to put a shim or anything. It'll have a vent, let some heat out so I can control it when I get the pig in there. Right on. Here is the first chicken out of the pig cooker. So I'm gonna cover it up, let it settle, and we'll be good to go. Well, it came out perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect.